stub my toe. It's 8 a.m. morning. I have a spare this morning. I'm still going, obviously, but just a little bit late. I slept in for like 25 more minutes. I'm back home from the school. It's 4.45. I just showered and had some food and stuff. And now it is time for me to work on some econ homework. Here's a little bit of a rundown of what the calendar is looking like for this week. Basically, tomorrow I have an econ essay due. And this has been causing a lot of stress in our econ classes at school. I got a pretty good chunk of it done on the weekend, so I just have to finish it up tonight. Then on Wednesday, I have a huge hum geo test I need to study for, and I'm pretty nervous for that test, I'm gonna be honest. After Wednesday, the week is a lot more chill. I didn't actually delete my apps. I know that's literally the whole purpose of the video. I basically just set a two minute time limit on every single one of my social media apps so that I can send my streaks. Okay, that sounds terrible. I don't actually send like streaks. I just wanted to keep my streak with Thomas and my streak with Kate because they're really high. So I'll check my screen time so far for today. My screen time for today has been 59 minutes. Most of that time was in science class. I was using it to time stuff because we were doing a science lab. So let's get started with the econ. I've literally never seen a worse angle. I'm actually almost done my essay. I just have to finish my like concluding kind of paragraph. I think I'm gonna watch some Gossip Girl, sorry. Only for like 15 minutes though. Tofu, beef, carrots. It's time to start studying for hum GNO as planned. So I think I'm going to first open my Quizlet and then go over some terms and stuff. And then I'm going to read my notes. So those of you who take AP hum geo at your school, I'm sure that you know what FRQs are. And then I basically have three FRQs on two chapters. This class literally kills me. Um, well, I have those flowers Thomas got me for Valentine's Day and I kind of want to dry them so that I can preserve them and keep them as like a dried flower bouquet, but I want to do so before they like really, really start to wilt. I'm going to tape these upside down on my window. Monday, first day. Screen time for today was two hours. I feel like that's still a lot, to be honest. Off to a pretty good start for today. It wasn't too bad. That's all for Monday. Good night, guys. jewelry i haven't seen this jewelry in like weeks i'm just upset i think that i'm first going to do a chemistry lab that i have to do is due tomorrow i'm just gonna finish it now and then i'm gonna work on home geo Okay, so I made some progress. I finished the front part of the sheet, but I have to talk about my claim with my group. So I'll do that when I get to school today. So I'm just gonna leave that to do tonight, I guess. I have to be at school by 12.15-ish. I also have to submit my econ essay because I didn't submit it yet. So I do need to read it over and submit it. I'll probably just do that now so I can just get it out of the way. Thank 
submitted. This is making me nervous just submitting it. Kind of just done with it. I just finished um, going over my Quizlet and now I'm going to begin reading my notes. Let's pull up some lo-fi. You know who I hate? Thomas. This kid really called me. I just lost 45 minutes of studying time. I essentially read only one page when I was planning to read like 15. sleep before my test tomorrow. I'm done with the studying. I just got ready for bed and I watched a little bit of Cody Co. My test is first block tomorrow morning. I'm really nervous, but it's okay. I just want to get it over with. So yeah, good night. Ugh, I look horrible. I'm back from school. I have to go track in 10 minutes, but I thought I would tell y'all how my test went. Long story short, it was horrible. I flipped the page over, I looked at it, and my heart dropped. I genuinely wish I could say that I was just being dramatic, making it a big deal. It literally messed up so bad. It's basically three FRQs, 20 minutes each, so it's kind of like three separate tests in a way. Two out of the three of them, I'm sure that I messed up. My teacher put on a bunch of different like definitions on these FRQs, but they weren't in the textbook, so I was essentially screwed. Considering the fact that the rest of the questions that come after the first definition question are linked to the actual definition, it's really hard to get the other questions right. But anyways, I have track now as I just mentioned. I'm gonna go in 10 minutes, get some running in. I just sat down to do work and he's calling me. Officially done with my home geo notes. The chapters that we have to do for tomorrow is literally only eight pages in total, and normally we have to do like 35 pages, so it only took me an hour. It's time to get ready for bed. I can sleep. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Thursday recap. My screen time today was 2 hours and 13 minutes. Considering the fact that I was on my phone for 5 hours on Sunday when I had social media, and that kind of shows the difference there. The reason why I was on my phone for 4 hours yesterday was because I was on FaceTime for an hour. It's just me spending more time on iMessages and playing iMessage games instead of going on Instagram. That was it for today, so I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day. I thought that I would give you a little bit of a recap as to how my week went. I think the big question to ask here is did it make me more productive? And to be honest, the answer is not really. I think I would have been better off just getting rid of my phone altogether because although social media is the main thing that I use my phone for, I was still just finding other ways to use my phone and distract myself, whether it be iMessage games, FaceTime. I normally am pretty disciplined when it comes to turning my phone off when I need to. I know how to manage my time and procrastination luckily isn't that big of an issue for me anymore. I think that in general though, it was more of just like a nice cleanse to take a break from everything. But I think that in terms of screen time, it actually did have a bit of an impact. I'm filming this on a different week, but on the week that I'm filming this, most of my school day times are around four or five hours of screen time every single day, which is obviously like a lot of time on my phone. During this week that I filmed this video, my screen time on the average school day was around two and a half hours or so. On this week that I'm filming this, like my school day averages were very high. That's a nice thing to see that like my screen time went down during this week and I'm sure that had like, you know, implicit benefits and stuff like that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know down below any other video requests that you have. Make sure to subscribe. But anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon with a rainy video. Bye. <laughs>